Hello there. My name is Roy Hornsby. This video is going to be basically about me and my life and everywhere I've been and everywhere that I am and everywhere that I'm going. I'm going to answer the 10 questions given by What the Buck and advocated by Shane Dawson. But afterwards, I'm going to go a little bit more in depth. I'm going to talk about my personal life. I'm going to show you around a little bit. And basically, I'm just going to let you get to know me a little bit better. My name is Roy Hornsby. I live in Pensacola, Florida, and I've lived here my entire life. I'm 17 years old, and I'm about to be a senior at Pensacola High School in the International Baccalaureate Program. My favorite color has actually changed quite a bit throughout my lifetime. It started off as red for about 15 years, and then purple for about a year, and right now it's blue. The reason I change it so much is because red, I don't know, I just, I always loved red for some reason. But, you know, then getting into high school, you know, people started making fun of me for having a favorite color of red, so I just changed it to a more manly color. And then I found out purple wasn't really that manly either, and now it's, now it's a blue. I'm kind of jumping on the bandwagon there, but it's, I like blue. It's like, like a dark blue, maybe, possibly. I mean, I still, I still respect red, but blue, blue's, blue's my favorite color. I myself own two pets, and they're both cats. I'm definitely a cat person, and for reasons I'm not really that sure of. It just, I've always loved cats. See, I would go over to my grandparents' house, and we never had any cats in our house until uh, about three years ago. But I would always go over to my grandparents' house when I was a little toddler. I don't know why I did that. And they didn't have any cats either, but the neighborhood cats, I guess, the, the good old cat family, would always come to their house, and they'd always, uh, my grandmother would always set out a bowl of milk for them to lick at. And I just, I loved cats. They were such unique animals, I thought. And I, they were just so furry, you know, uh, excluding the claws. One interesting story is that uh, for either my third or fourth birthday, I wanted a stuffed cat for my birthday, and I told my grandfather, and they went out and they searched for a stuffed cat, and they could not find one, and all they found was a stuffed bunny, so they brought it to me, and I named it Meow. This is my first cat right here. Her name is Sierra, and we got it from an adoptive shelter. The story that goes along with Sierra here is that we actually have a much bigger cat, and her name is Kiki. She is a tabby cat. And I got her when I was coming out of fifth grade, so going, going into middle school, I got my first cat. And her name is Kiki, and she's a tabby cat. I would show you Kiki right now, but I can't find her. I think she's underneath my parents' bed. Looked, didn't see her, so she's probably lurking in the shadows somewhere. If I find Kiki, I'll cut her in, right here. Look, it's Kiki! Kiki! Hey, girl! Hey, how you doing? Hey! Meow! Kiki! Like I said, we got Kiki when I was going into sixth grade. And we had her for about three years. Uh, until one day, I took her outside. She's very skittish. I took her outside, and just to be kind of funny, I didn't really put a collar on her because I was going to take her right back inside. But I set her down on a pile of crunchy leaves. Not a very smart idea, but I went ahead and did it, and uh, crunchy leaves scared her, and then she bolted for the neighbor's yard, and we did not see her again. Until four months later, after Kiki ran away in December, we wanted the new cat, or I wanted the new cat, so we went to the animal shelter in January, and we found this very, very teeny, tiny, very sick little kitten that was only about two months old, but it actually already uh, aborted having a baby. So we adopted her, and we brought her home, and we put her on these uh, meds that we had to inject in her mouth that she did not like at all for like three weeks until she got better again. We had Sierra for about two weeks, then we found Kiki and brought her home. Unfortunately, since they never grew up together, they didn't really like each other that much. And they're both females, so pff, there's that. So that's that. I have two cats, and my brother actually has a dog named Mr. President. He named him Mr. President because he was, is, and always will be very, very interested in politics. He's a German Shepherd. Um, yeah, I'll show him right here if I can, if he's out and about. I don't have any children. Good for me. I do, however, have two brothers. Uh, my bigger brother, his name's Travis. He's 19, and he attends the University of Florida in Gainesville. My little brother's name is Dennis, and he just turned 14, and he's going to be going to Pensacola High School in the International Baccalaureate program as well. I don't really collect anything, but recently, I, I love Chinese food. My family loves to eat Chinese food uh, very often, actually. And so we go to this little place called Panda China, uh, which is downtown Pensacola. We go there all the time. We go to this little place called Hunan's, uh, Kirin's, all these Chinese restaurants all over, uh, and these Thai places all, all over Pensacola. And, you know, whenever we go there, I mean, everybody knows this, you go to a Chinese place, you eat your food at the very end, they bring you the check along with fortune cookies. A while ago, about in ninth grade, I came across a very good 
uh, fortune that I've actually uh, memorized and I've remembered and I've tried to abide by it my entire life. See, that's an odd thing, is that when most people get a fortune cookie, they read the fortune and then they just they just forget about it and it just kind of leaves their minds. It's just kind of like a momentary, oh, that's cool, and then that, that's it. The fortune that I got said, it's not the years in your life, but the life in your years that counts. Which I honestly think is pretty cool. So since then, I've kept this little bottle. And every time I've gotten a fortune, I've put it in here to try to... I don't, I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it and read them all, but kinda... I mean, I read them once, and I, you know, all fortunes are generally good. And it's it just kind of little, you know, my my bottle of, of fortune, my bottle of the bliss that I could uh, come up on the rest of my life. So yeah, I, I try to be very optimistic, and I kind of use this to, I guess, capture um, the good of life, the, uh, the optimism, and, uh, you know, what's good about life, and which is living it to its fullest. I do not watch any sports. I just, I really, really actually don't like sports, especially football. I, I don't even know how to play it. I mean, I wouldn't even, whenever I get together with friends who want to play it, I kind of just, you know, I, I just kind of get in there and I kind of just, I guess, run around in circles, really, because I just have no idea what to do. And I'm just, I don't know, I'm just completely uninterested in football uh, more than any other sport. I guess, I mean, I, for other sports, I mean, I've played pretty much everything. I've played soccer, I've played basketball, I've played baseball, I've not played football, don't want to play football. I've played uh, tennis. I played that at my school uh, two years ago. And, uh, I mean, I guess I... Phone's ringing. So I know how to play them and I know how to watch them. Uh, but it doesn't really... I don't get excited by it, really. Uh, especially football. Again, I emphasize that very deeply. Yeah, so um, no sports for me. One thing that I have been involved in, though, is music. I love music. And this is just something, honestly, that I recently discovered in my, in my high school life, honestly. When it came to music, I kind of just, I listened to it as it came. I never really went out and I, I never really searched for it. I never really found, you know, a specific genre that I loved or or a specific band that I just worshipped or, or any of that. I just, you know, I appreciated it, but I was never really actually, I guess, into it. Now, I have two guitars. One's an acoustic guitar and one's an electric guitar. Uh, the acoustic I got uh, almost a year ago, back in December. Uh, I got it for about $350, so it's a, it's a legitimate good guitar, and it, really, it sounds really beautiful. It was handmade in Canada. Uh, my electric guitar I got for about, actually, $80 at a pawn shop at the beginning of summer, because I've always wanted an electric guitar. Now, the reason that I have uh, two guitars is because, uh, for one, I just I really enjoy playing them. It's difficult and it's challenging, but it's also rewarding. And it provides opportunity for life. Like, as a senior, uh, I'm going to be looking uh, for a job field. I'm going to be looking for college. I'm, I'm really at the, at the boundaries of adulthood and life as it is. And so I'm looking for what I'm going to do for the rest of my, my life. You know, we don't have that long on this earth. And we got to take advantage of it doing something. And I'm not going to rule out music just because another profession pays better. Uh, or any of that. I mean, every everything deserves a chance uh, in terms of job opportunities or life opportunities. And I'm looking into music because it's something I've been involved in my entire life. Finally, uh, no, I do not. Um, finally, no. Finally, I don't subscribe to any magazines uh, except Time magazine that I my mother subscribed me to. Uh, about two years ago, I guess, and I have those, I guess, just as a primary source for any history papers or history projects that I ever uh, come across. If I need a primary source or anything, I can just look in Time Magazine, so I have that. Um, my brother definitely reads them more, more than I do. I also subscribe to uh, Boys Life, and uh, Boys Life is uh, a Boy Scout magazine, um, and that's because I am a Boy Scout. I'm an Eagle Scout, actually. I finally the rank of Eagle Scout, the, it's, uh, it's really, it's really remarkable. It's, uh, my scouting career has been as long as my music career, and uh, two, those are just two of the things in my life that make me me. Alright, so that's the skeleton of my life.